Alright, hey guys, so it's been a very, very long time, and I apologize, but I've been doing this style all summer, and it's been pretty lazy girl, like easy, breezy for me, um, so I thought I'd share this with you. This is, um, like, needs to be washed hair, like I just took it down out of old twists, and I need to wash it, and I just separated it into fours, and look at, I look like a freaking joker, like... <laughs> Okay, so, um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and get in the shower, and I'll show you what I put in my hair before I twist it, and we'll just get going. Right, guys, so this is uh, my hair fresh out of the shower. Um, it's cleaned, it's conditioned, and now I'm going to show you how I moisturize it before I do the twist. So I have it parted in four different sections, um, and then I just combined the top two sections and clipped it aside because I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Because when I do the twists, I'm just going to be doing them wherever randomly. And then when I get closer to the top of my head, then that's when I part it and have it a little bit more uniform. Just in case I'm going to part it a certain way. Um, so yeah. Alright, so my hair is clean. I'm going to start in the back section. I use castor oil. I think it's really good to keep in seal, lock and seal moisture of your natural um, oils. Also helps prevent breakage. Um, we use shea butter. Gotta love the butters. And then I have shea moisture, strengthen and restore leave-in conditioner. I like to le use a leave-in conditioner when I do these protective styles just to make sure I'm getting the most moisture that I can get. Um, and I like using a Denman paddle brush just because I feel like it helps detangle um, better than just a regular wide tooth comb or whatever. So I'm just going to have everything sped up just because this process is really repetitive and I don't feel like it needs to be normal speed for you. So yep, and as much as um, in regards to how much product I put in my hair, it's really just, I just eyeball it. If I have any excess, I just put it on the sections I haven't done before. But I like to over moisture just so I make sure that I do have enough for my hair. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna be finishing my lazy girl twists as I call them I wanted to show you the last section that I'm doing um, and if you can remember I parted out a section in the beginning of the video on the parts that I'm actually gonna make uniform because in the back and like the top section of my hair I um, just do it wherever do it randomly so this is the part that I sectioned off to actually like do parting and I'm going to show you how I do it, and then I'm going to show you just up close, you know, how I do the twist. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go off camera, and I'll be back when I show you how to do the top up close. So this is how, if you don't know how to do it, this is how I do it. I just start with a twist. I put it on my index finger, and you wrap it around your real hair, right? So you slide that to the top. And put your finger on the end where you're going to start because you want it to be tight. So you'll just loop around and start the braid. And it's okay if it gets loose because you're going to um, braid it. And then when you get your real hair in the middle section, like right now, I'm going to loop it through the middle section. I grab it. And I pull these two extension hairs to the side. So then you have your real hair in one hand and the extension in the other. You're gonna pinch the braid that you started. And you're just gonna push upward. So from the end right here to 
the root. I'm just gonna push up and see it's tightened. Now there's no gap. See it's loose. There, so I'm gonna push it like that. You can strain it. It's fine. So now what I do, this is a fairly thick piece of hair, so I will um, part it into two sections and put one of my real hairs with one of the fake hairs and the other with the other. And what you want to make sure you do is twist both of these before you start them. It doesn't really matter which way you go because you're going to be going one way when you twist them together. And then just start twisting. Roll, twist. Roll your fingers, twist. Roll. And this makes everything, see my row hair? The twisting just makes everything uniform like that. So that way there's no frizz with your hair in the extension. And you see how my ends are all different? So with these two, um, they're already separated so normally if they work together normally these two are together and the shorter pieces are together so normally what i would do is just um, the one short one with the, the, the longer one the other short one with the other one So like I said, the last piece I did it a little bit different just because when I put the pieces together, the red isn't as long as the brown. So what I do, you separate them, just put one on top of the other and pull that one on the other side so that way you have this. now it's the same. It's just like how we started it with, with the other one. So what you want to do, I'm just gonna leave this, it's thin. I'm just gonna put it up. Uh, 